Now it's time to welcome our next guest, Jerry Sluzewitz. Jerry is founder of Pacific Financial Planners located in Laguna Niguel, California. And he has over 30 years of experience working with these types of issues. And he's hosted his own radio show for the last 15 years, Your Money Talks. Jerry, great to have you back here on The Income Generation. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me. So, Jerry, you know, you're, you're very unique in your own way because you're an income specialist. But tell us about some of the unique uh, situations you've seen with your customers. Well, Jeff, you know, income is a relative statement because some people need a lot of income and some people need less. I had a doctor not too long ago from Newport Beach, a highly affluent area out here in Southern California, come to see me. And uh, when we did our analysis uh, after everything, this guy needed around $11,000 from his portfolio per month. And he had about 1.5 million. And, you know, that's a high bar to cross. You're talking, you know, well over, uh, you know, $130,000 a year off of, uh, you know, a portfolio that's almost 10%. So he, he was, he, he had had this lifestyle all along, uh, you know, fairly extravagant because of his income and he was taking care of his kids who were adults, but now, and, and when you, you know, factor that against other folks who've gotten together a little bit more conservative, paid down their house, they've had kids that they kind of weaned off the, you know, the family, uh, you know, money for a little while. And, 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 and you know, they, they could use maybe a half a million dollars and achieve a better lifestyle than someone who had, you know, such an extravagant lifestyle. So your, your income needs will vary depending on the situation dramatically. So he was unique in the sense that he had a much larger amount of money that he wanted to withdraw than was really possible. So you had to bring him back down to earth, it sounds like. Well, again, it's really tough to, to try to kick off those high rates of return and still have money left to last. This gentleman was only 63 years old. And when you start doing the math and you start looking at inflation, you know, he wasn't really, you know, it was going to be tough for him to make it if he gave up his job. He wanted to retire. Another couple comes in and says, I don't think we can retire. We only have about 500000 But because of their lifestyle, it was a much better, easier situation to achieve. I said, yeah, you guys can retire and, and you'll be just fine. So it's always a, an individual uh, measurement of, of income, so to speak, depending on their unique situation. And, you know, Jerry, it's funny because, you know, you talk about lifestyle. You guys over there on the left coast have had a lifestyle where you've been kind of closed down now for well over a year. Uh, you're opening up again. So does that optimism about opening up, does that translate to the financial markets from, from what you're hearing when you talk to folks? Well, it, it, it does in the fact that we're sick and tired. People are sick and tired of being shut in and closed yeah. down. I mean, all the articles out here from the local press always compare us to you guys down in Florida. And it's, it's never a, a good comparison because you guys have done so well uh, relative to us with the shutdown. Uh, that's really good. But I'll tell you what scares people is you guys recently had the gas problem. I don't know if that affected you guys down in South Florida, but with the, uh, the pipeline getting shut down and the talk is out here with our gas prices at around uh, $4 and 15 cents, a dollar over to the national average. And we actually manufacture the gasoline really close by here. I, I think that the inflation is tempering the opening up. So we're optimistic yeah. that we finally get to get outside and do things, but there's fear of the future. Yeah. Well, fear of inflation. Well, the good news is I don't think anybody's predicting a 1970s inflation style again, but uh, we could see inflation for the next couple of years higher than we've seen it recently. So Jerry, thanks so much for being back with us here on the Income Generation. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Income